Hi friends, today I'll share you how we can install a Hyper-V role in a Windows 2012 server. So I have 2012 server with me. For enabling Hyper-V roles, you need to go to server manager, click on manage, add a roles and features. click next so you need to select role based future based installation then select the server here you can see the Hyper-V roles you can select Hyper-V click on add features click next then click next next so you can select uh, which uh, ethernet port you want to use for uh, this hyper-v so i just uh, select this network adapter click next then click next so it will save the details of the configuration and uh, hyper-v virtual hard disk details to the following location if you want to change look you can change then click install i am going to pause this video until the installation completed so the installation has been completed successfully you need to restart your server for finishing the installation click on close the server has been restarted then we need to go to administrative tools then you can see hyper-v manager here so you can open hyper-v manager so here you can see the hyper-v server name okay on the right side you can see a new uh, import virtual machine, Hyper-V settings, virtual switch manager, virtual SAN manager, edit disk, inf inspect disk, stop the service. Okay, I'll show you how to create a virtual machine. So for that you need to right click on this, click on new virtual machine. Okay, then click next, uh, type a name of the virtual machine. VM test. I'm giving VM test. This is store the virtual machine virtual machine in a different location. If you want to save this virtual machine in a different location, you can check this. Otherwise, you can keep as default. Click next. There is two options: generation one and generation two virtual machines. So I'm putting generation two. This is the latest one. So this virtual machine generation provides support for features such as secure boot, SCSI boot and PXE boot using standard network adapter. For that you need to have a guest operating system of 2012 or Windows 8 or Windows 10. So I am clicking next. So select uh, startup memory. You can select uh, how much memory you need. I am putting 1 GB memory. If you want to use a dynamic memory for this virtual machine, you can use dynamic memory. Click next. So you can select uh, the virtual switch. So I have a virtual switch, uh, one virtual switch. I selected that and click next. So either you can create a virtual disk or you can use existing virtual disk. So the location of the virtual disk uh, by default it will go to this location. You can click browse if you want and you can just uh, put uh, in a separate drive uh, VM disk.
capacity if you want you can change until 64 TB depends upon your storage space so I am just putting 50 GB for the time being 50 GB or 100 GB I am putting 100 GB click next and uh, you can select uh, which operating system uh, you want install an operating system later or you can install uh, from a bootable image file so if I want to install I should have a uh, one image for uh, the Windows operating system or which operating system you want to install you should have an image so I'm putting uh, install an operating system later click next and click finish so the virtual machine has been successfully created so click connect then it will open the screen console this is the power on button so you can click start so there is no bootable media in on this so it won't boot you need to put a media then it will boot and we can install windows or a oper linux operating system so that's all for now thank you for watching please subscribe my channel thank you